Hey everybody, good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, right? Yes, Tuesday morning. Yeah. Hey, we had a lot going on today, so we thought we'd do like a vlog style video. Yeah. Um, over the weekend we had a wedding. It was four and a half hours away and it was one of the cutest weddings ever. Yvonne and Michaela. Yvonne is one of our adopted sons. Yes, one of our kids' best friends. And it was at a llama farm, and it was the most amazing yeah. wedding I've ever been to. It was it was fun. It was cute. The wedding part, there was two llamas that were standing up in the <laughs> wedding. I don't have any pictures I can pop up of that, but here's just a few pictures of the llamas and us and stuff. So it was super fun and we got to go on a llama hike with yeah. them the next day it was so fun yeah we each got our own llama so i took the tallest llama prairie farms is that what it is yes. prairie farms in, in rapid city iowa well shoeyville oh it's by rapid city iowa yeah by shoeyville uh mm -hmm. so anyway that brought everything to a halt here and then yesterday so of course rapid we were Rapid city yes is cedar it? rapids <laughs> Cedar Rapids, Iowa? Yeah, it's not Rapid City. Okay, that was in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. North of Iowa City. Which is, it's a, it's by Shuey, which yeah. is by Rapid City. Cedar Rapids? <laughs> it's something with rapid, something rapid about that town. Uh, anyway, so then yesterday we had a lot of stuff to ship out, a lot of cool orders, but we didn't film. We just woke up and after like traveling all weekend it was like we were tired so we decided you know what let's just do our stuff yep. so donna was listing and i was shipping we have a whole bunch of stuff to go to the post office because they were closed yesterday yeah but we have a lot of things going on today so we thought we'd just touch on them show you guys progress show you guys what's yep. going on in our but world first, who are we uh... oh i'm sorry hi well, we're happy heart treasures i'm steve i'm donna we're full-time resellers that live in lincoln nebraska rehomers of stuff yes we are and so that's the goal every day that's right Speaking of rehoming stuff, somebody might be rehoming stuff to us this afternoon. That's one of the things on our to-do list. Yes. Uh, we have a, we go talk to a guy about a possible buyout scenario. If you guys have been watching a long time, the fire buy was four months mm -hmm. ago, mm -hmm. and that was a great buy. Well, we got contacted by this guy about... His uh, friend. His friend. Shortly after, to see if we were interested in coming and looking at his stuff. Yeah. And we have been putting him off just because... We have so many other things going on, you know, and we always don't have a lot of room. Just because of of stuff we have already. Yeah, so finally <clears throat> I reached back out to him and I'm like, if you want us to come, we'll come out. Like, so we're going there at 1 o'clock today and we're going to see. So if we make a deal there, uh, we will show you what in this video, like, yeah. what we ended up doing. But before we do all that, let's see, what, let's show them what's all going on here. So over here, this you might recognize from the basement. This is this had been stuffed full of clothes for clothes. for years now, right? Oh yeah, it's been three, four, four years maybe. Yeah, and now there's a guy on his way. We put it on marketplace, and there's a guy on the way to come look at it. He'll be here in about five to ten minutes. Because the clothing room is empty except for one rack of clothes for eBay. Yeah, we'll go show you that. Okay. So down here in the basement, it's kind of a mess because I was shipping, but all that stuff is all going. All this stuff up here is all going. We have boxes. Guys, we scored a box situation that's awesome. I got yeah, boxes you're from friends. Off topic. I'm off topic. Uh, we'll talk about boxes here in a second. But look at this. Remember how full this room was? Oh my goodness. It you echoes. have an echo now. It echoes now. So we had, this was full, we had a rack here full, this was full, the double rack there was full, and there were totes underneath everything. Yes. And so now, the only totes down here are these, and they're full of hangers. So I'll be selling some hangers. Yeah. Um, we're going to put storage racks right here for more eBay inventory. And we're going to work that down to where it can all live over here over here over there yep so the only amount of clothes we're going to have unlisted will live right here and it'll be listing on ebay yes mm -hmm. yep. we still have our photo wall but all of these things are either in uh ebay or this is the booth right here yeah so as we go there might be some other booth things but as we go we'll separate them out and everything so yep so we just um, gotta list this stuff on ebay yeah that'll get worked soon so yeah we've been working hard in this room now you can talk about your boxes if you want. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, so I have some boxes from a couple friends. We have people to save boxes for us. 
but Donna did contact a lady and we might have a source for smaller boxes for a long time. We'll see. Let me show you out in the garage again. Okay, so over here, underneath here, you look and you see there's boxes with boxes and totes with boxes all under here. It's too deep. And there's boxes like this. There's little square ones. There's little bitty ones, which work great for itty bitties. Um, over here, I mean, it's it's all the way back there. So a lady had a listing on Marketplace. Actually, the guy just came, loves the rack, took the rack, bought that for 50 bucks, so that's awesome. Um, so a lady had a listing on Marketplace and one of our viewers, somebody here from our dollar auction actually, messaged us and told us about it. And so Donna contacted the lady and she had like, there's over 200 boxes. And when we went to pick them up, we just took them all. She's like, oh, I have these all the time. So They're hopefully- like, Did you show them? Yeah, yeah, different sizes, lots of different sizes. But so hopefully uh, that will be a continued source for boxes. They're good rigid boxes. And I already told a couple of our friends like they don't need to keep boxes anymore. Obviously they're all smaller, but uh, you know, we need a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I mean, it's super helpful. So anyway, that's the boxes thing. This big one goes to, uh, where's this go? FedEx, that goes out today. But first we have to empty the van because we brought stuff home for the wedding party. <laughs> yes. So what we have going on in here though, back here, this is all still uh when we went to the salvage yard in utica stuff. utica mm -hmm. we were hoping to get through it quicker of course but not this but that's it, just yeah. how it works mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we have a little bit left of garage sale stuff from the junk jaunt that's them uh model trains or not model trains but yeah. the electric trains whatever you call them so we've been pulling from here this used to come out here and there was a narrow way narrow uh, path but we've been pulling from over here, so this has worked down quite a bit up here. Um, we're just trying to work on this and get stuff out. So one of the problem, I don't know if I'd call it a problem. One of the things is, situations is like going today for this uh, possible buyout. Winter is coming and when winter comes, we don't have a lot to source from. You know, we, we look for deals and everything, but we, I'm trying, like, my I want to list more. Says there's problems. There's we, problems. We've done great. Oh wait, she's sitting down. We've done great with the eBay thing. We've done great with listing when we're home and we can list. Uh, we've listed a lot, right? Why do you look at me like that? Because my great poo poo were of all things. <laughs> so. No, I'm the logistics guy. I'm thinking long term. I'm thinking. If you keep buying things and you don't get it listed, it doesn't do you any good. Like if we go in today and we and we bring home something like the fire buy, then boom, our garage is packed full again, which is not a bad thing with winter coming. But like I was talking the other day about garage selling this Thursday again. Well, we'll see how this goes today. We may not garage sell this weekend. Mm -hmm. Right, but the eBay listing. But, okay, so our new way of doing things, and that is to list more on eBay, has been working fabulously because we listed and listed and listed last week and we kept listing on eBay. And so at the end of the day, we didn't have to bump and package and all of that as much as we normally do. So we only listed a total of 246 things last week, and that includes two dollar auction runs. So we, all of that was eBay. Except in a normal for the week, what, small, what was your goal for listing in a normal 300 week? 300. 300, okay. On dollar auction. And um, so we listed like 87 one day, 60 something one day. I mean, we listed a ton on eBay. And we were gone for three days. From two home. days. Two days? Yeah, it's two days. Saturday, Sunday. But I didn't list on yeah. Yeah, the we day didn't, before. Yeah, the day before. Um, so because I was getting ready for us to go. So we weren't listing for three days. And we had the second largest week of sales we've had yeah. for three months, four months. Yeah, it was great. So it was great. eBay just kept rolling. Now it was kind of weird because eBay would start slow in the mornings and in the afternoon evenings is when go, we sold bow, most bow, of bow, our bow, stuff. Bow. That's when um, people are off of work. Yeah, but I mean, sometimes, it, you know, it, it when you get halfway through the day and you're relying more on eBay, you're like, come on, where's our sales? But then all of a sudden you'll sell like four things within the next half hour. So, well, and here's the thing too. I learned the from Teresa because I'm like, how do you not go crazy every single day? Teresa with Grams and Pops. She says, because you don't look at each and every single day. Yeah. You look at a month. 
you look at 30 days, the average of yeah. what it's, you know, because you're going to have big days, you're going to have little days. So it has been working pretty well. And now we are still doing some on dollar. Like today I have several on dollar and sassies because I went through, what was it, 14 boxes from the Utica buy and some of it wasn't eBay worthy. So I had to go ahead and... Yeah, we're still doing <laughs> dollar auction. Um, our friends that we talked to, the other resellers, they do the co Shop Commons, which is a yeah. Commonwealth picker website uh, where they where they sell whatnot. lots, yeah, or whatnot. And so that's how they get rid of their stuff that they don't want to work, or you know, it's not where they want to sell in lots. That's where we're still going to do dollar auction. We we I don't think we'll ever f fully get out of it, right? As long as we do big buys or big cleanouts or something like that, we're still going to have some of that, but. We're listing less on dollar auction and we're listing bigger lots on dollar auction like we talked about in the last one. Here's what I'll tell you about the eBay thing. So we've been going at it for a few weeks now like this and this week's payout, today's Tuesday, we get paid out for on eBay. We have it chosen to do once a week um, and so on Tuesday morning they pull the money and then they send it and it goes to the bank on Wednesday. This week's payout and last week's payout to go back and have a payout bigger than, than either one of those we'd have to go back four months. So our two payouts these last two weeks are bigger than they have been in four months. So that's good. So that's good. That shows you that it's working. We're able to switch over. Yeah. To yeah, we don't have money. the cash that we used to have, but we have the income still coming in from eBay because we remember we were at 1,100 listings just a few weeks ago and we, we got up to about 1,460, but then we were gone all weekend. So now it's down to about 1,420. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's working. It is working. So I don't know. We we really don't know where we stand until we go this afternoon to this buy. We're gonna go let out our uh, our kids as dogs yes. because he's got some things to do after work. So we're gonna do that, and we have to get all this stuff to the post office and FedEx and empty the van. And we need to empty the van from the wedding stuff. So we will catch up a little later and let you know how this meeting went. We'll take him with us to see the puppers. Yeah, we'll take you with. We'll we'll, we'll go let the dogs out. We'll take okay. the camera with us. Let's go. This is Dog City. Uh, we are watching one dog. So there's like extra dog. This is Mickey's birthday. It's Mickey's birthday? Mickey's birthday. Is it really? Yay. This is Mickey. He's nine. Mickey loves me. He's nine. Nine years old. Nine years old. He's the biggest, cuddliest dog. Oh, it's a rubber There you go. Yeah. Rubber dog. And that's Ransom. Hi, Rance. Um, Hi, Rance. Ransom is the OG. Ransom is the oldest. Old Here's a little Fable. Hi, Fabes. Ooh. Hi, Fable. Ransom's daughter. Yeah, that's Mash, and Mash is Jasper's sister. Yep. Here daughter. comes Jasper. Jabber, Jabber. Jabber. Woo. Zoom, zoom. See, look at Hi, Mickey's like, pet me. Hi, Mash. There. Are, those two are Brocco Italianos, and this one is Jasper. Jasper. Uh, our kid takes two shows and does shows. They're learning how to point and hunt. The next zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh my God. Oh, you're making a mess, Mickey. Huh? You're making a mess. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Mickey? Huh? Here, it's your birthday. Your birthday? Huh? Your birthday? <laughs> so that's the dogs. <laughs> they're a lot, but they're fun. We're on our way to a little town called Raymond, which is north of us. Right? Yeah. Northeast of us. Anyway. We're off to see a guy about some stuff, some fire buy, firehouse stuff. Yeah, we don't know what exactly it is. We know he has a lot of die cast, but we don't know really nothing else. Um, the dogs are all taken care of, are running around, packages are dropped off, everything's done. Now we're going to go see if we can buy more stuff. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we are at the storage unit. And it is not because we have a van full of stuff. So here's the deal. Uh, we went and looked at the guy's collection. He had some stuff set aside for us. And uh, quite honestly, 
Everything was on display. So it was just a bunch of like die cast cars and stuff, fire items. Come on lights, there we go. So everything was on display. So everything was dusty and would need some cleaning. And then we saw missing mirrors and everything. And basically what he had set aside, you're noisy. <laughs> anyway, what he had set aside for us to look at, we just, we gave him like our best price and he wasn't comfortable with that. And so we just didn't agree upon a price. So, and that's okay. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. It's so it's kind of good because we need to work on this storage unit. Yeah. So we thought, well, we're by the storage unit kind of, so let's come up here. You know what? I can get a couple of fire by boxes from here and I can still work on fire by items, right? Yeah. So let's see what we got. We have like five or six heaters and it's been colder now. It's getting to freezing temperatures overnight. So we thought, let's get some heaters, a couple, couple of them, take them yeah. home. We are not in a position where we're in need of stuff. <laughs> not so much. We got, there's two brand new heaters there. That's a heater. That's a heater. That's a heater. That's a heater. Wagon? That's a heater. That wagon's going. Or yep. should we wait till spring? For what? What's the difference between spring and fall? Well, spring is when people will be going outside with their kids using a wagon. It's fall. They're still going out. Halloween's coming. You can take their kids in there. Okay. So we have like, yeah, we have plenty of stuff to work on. You want to take two heaters? Um, I'm actually, yeah, we'll take two heaters. Like, I have to be honest. I'm actually, when we were on the way there, kind of torn on whether I wanted it to work out or not because I'm really excited about where we're at and getting some of this stuff worked and knocked down. So I'm a, I'm thrilled that it didn't work out, honestly. Um, I'm always looking for a good deal, but man, now we can really attack this storage unit and the stuff at home. So anyway, like, we're gonna grab some stuff. We're gonna load up the van and we'll catch up in a little bit. So here we grabbed the first couple of boxes that said firehouse on them. And would you look at that? Right there, some die cast fire stuff we were just looking at. Except this stuff is brand new. Yeah, it's a it's new in box and everything. So, Skippy fire engine pedal vehicle. Oh, that's a little die cast. So anyway, no, this is exciting. I'm I'm excited yeah. about this stuff. And then the and next then box, here. we've got some vintage stuff in here. Here's a Pink Panther die cast car right there. Are these micro machines? Micro machines fire. Fire emergency vehicle oh, stuff. Oh, a brand new Sesame Street. Yeah, so yeah, no, this is exciting. This is the stuff I want to work on. Did you see the Pink Panther? Yes, I did. Yeah. So we're taking this home. This is What's this right here? Is this more fire by right here? Look at that. What do we have here? Looks like a vintage puzzle. And then Smokey Bear Ooh, game. Oh, Smokey Bear. Emergency That's been... game. Second. Am I going too fast for yeah. you? Yeah. And then uh, some different. Texaco Fire Chief. It's probably one of them bumps. Department 56. Yeah. Department Let's 56. see what's under here. There you go. Just more stuff. Just more stuff, you guys. So we're going to take this home too. And it's clean. It's not dusty. That makes a big difference. Okay, we're going to load, we're going to get a couple carts full and take it to the house and we'll finish up there. All right, we are back home now. We have a van full of stuff to work from the storage unit. Uh, look at this, you guys. This is, this is dumb. See this tote? See those two totes? Man, these are from a buyout we did from a guy here in town, which was a great buyout, but they've literally just sat for, what, a year? Um, and we maybe never, longer than that. And we never worked them, so... Um, that was uh, another reseller that he got a hold of us. And there's, you know, we're still can make money with this. It's not like it lost is, its value. No, yeah, it's going to go to the booth. There's some good stuff in here. Yeah, but it's been sitting for a year or, so, or more. So we got it out. We're making progress, you guys. And then all them boxes under here, not all of them. You can still see a couple. I took them all downstairs. We're going to have all them downstairs. This is all the wedding stuff that we got for a friend uh, from the wedding so that will all disappear and then we can work on the rest of this stuff but we have a van full of stuff as we were trying to decide what to bring we saw these big huge long totes and they have like outdoor 
uh, stuff in them like tennis rackets, badminton, croquet, stuff like that, which is a lot of the dollar auction stuff. So I said, let's get those and so we can get rid of those. And that'll just free up a lot more room for us in the storage unit. Yeah. So what are you most excited about, Donna? Getting rid of big stuff like the heaters and these big empty totes and yeah. stuff making room so that it's more efficient getting to the high dollar things for ebay yeah because we know we have a lot of high dollar things Man. we just they're all in boxes they're all buried and stuff yeah so uh, one piece of great news for donna donna since this fire buy didn't work guess what what we definitely can go garage selling on thursday oh nice so, <laughs> Yay. so we'll do that and I, that'll probably be the next video will be like what we found garage selling um, we might actually go up to Omaha and just kind of drive around neighborhoods there, but we'll see. You got anything else to share with people? Like and subscribe, share with your friends, and almost done with the Afghan. I'm going to put two Afghans on. Um, there's a ton of brand new cut cozies coming. You'll see them. So just search Happy Heart Treasures and you will find all of my handmade creations. creations. And thank you so much. We will um, combine shipping for those. So if you want to get one or two or 10 or 20 you know, for Christmas yep. gifts, we yep. will combine shipping for that. And that helps and, out and our channel a lot. Do me a favor though, if you do that, remind me just send me a message uh just say hey can we combine shipping because sometimes i forget i try not to but sometimes i do forget so uh, i will absolutely do that yes so. yes uh, and if you ever order anything and you don't get a thank you card from me i'm sorry i still am not great about doing it in every package i try to <laughs> i try but anyway you're fired no you're <laughs> no, not no i'm not <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we're going to wrap this up and we're going to get to work. Uh, we got the rest of the day where we're free to list, list, list. That's right. So, all right. Thanks everybody for watching. We appreciate all of you and we are happy our treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.